So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we will be tying a fly that's uh, by Mr. Herbert Wells called Black Ghost, but in a version by me. We are using a wet fly, RX wet fly hook number 10 for this. And we are using a sample fly nano silk 50 denier for the threat as i said this fly is it's not of course designed by me not at all it's like the herbert wells black coast but this per particular version is something that uh, i've been using for years here in iceland with great results and it's like kind of like a, like a not a scrappy or scrappy fly at all but i'm using like uh, rests and and remains and stuff for it. So we start by attaching the thread to the shank of the hook and we are using like those uh, those old-fashioned uh, eyes from the bathtub chain eyes. Just a small one and uh, remember this is a hook size number 10. Uh, for the tail we are using both orange and yellow hen or cock feathers it just depends what you have they will both do the same and uh, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm mixing them together simply to get like a sunburst uh, a take on the on this one you can use both colors you can use just yellow like the original pattern is but you can also use only orange, it's, it's kind of all up to you. But uh, the reason I'm tying this fly is uh, because it's been amazing how well this fly works. And this size is like a mini streamer. It's just simply amazing. And uh, when, you're when you're done with the tail, you Touch that down. Uh, next step is the um, body material. That is like a stretch floss, like an uni stretch floss, or just any type of stretch floss you have. Or you can use aurora yarn or just wool or whatever. Anything goes actually, as long as it's black colored. We snip this end off here. And uh, we can zoom in so you guys will see what we are doing. And for the rib, we are actually using a flat gold for for the rib. But uh, the original fly by Herbert Wells is tied with a flat silver tinsel. Gold will do as well. This is my version of it, so I'm using gold. And the gold goes well with the colors in the uh, in the uh, tail. It kind of uh, yeah, as you see, it merges with the with those two colors of the orange and the yellow. Then we wrap uh, the body material forward. Catch that with our thread, and uh, we are good to go. And we'll snip off the, of the remaining body struts and we'll just use it for the next fly. Then we will wrap around the uh, rib, which is the golden or the flat gold tinsel. And we catch that with our thread and secure that down. And yeah, I could admire this fly for. A day and a half or even two days it's unbelievable how much fish i caught on this fly during just in the past uh, while i'm scanning and in like difficult situations uh, when the fish is not taking then hit this size you know so hopefully something will happen uh, for the throat or the, or the beard of the fly i'm using a yellow hen or a yellow cock feather it just varies on what you guys have 
and uh, then we can go around the eyes and build up like a like a little bulk around the eyes so you zigzag the eyes so they're just absolutely in place uh, we'll measure up here so the tips of the of the beard will just not be too long somewhere like close into the hook okay so yep remember to like share and subscribe it's mandatory something like that and we will just attach uh, adjust that with my fingernail to make it uh, stay in the middle or about in the middle uh, like I said, this is like a not, not like a scrapyard fly, not not at all. But uh, you often have those materials in it just lying around on your table, just like this. This is a piece of a sunker wing, like a rest of a sunker wing, which you cannot use as a sunker wing anymore. But uh, what you can use it for is you can use it for the wing to tie those tiny streamers and uh, I prefer to like take not too thick piece of it and cut it just very close to the skin and get all of the loose uh, fur away like this <coughs> Then we measure out the uh, the length of the wing. So the wings should be about same length as the as the tip uh, of the tail. And to get in better control of this, I just wet my fin finger just like a, with a little drop of saliva and and uh, apply that to the fur that way with it like this wet it's going to be much much easier to control and uh, tie it down and to make it even we'll just snip snip off the end and then we are ready to tie in the uh, tie in the wing and remember this wing is it is it is just from a piece of a rabbit sunker that most of people will just either throw away or use as a tub or something I don't, I don't know what people do with those but I use them to uh, try to make flies save your material uh, fly tying material is expensive and and why not make some flies out of it that that are absolutely amazing how how well they work Let's see, Icelandic minimalism to use what we have. And it works, why not? And as you see, to fly, this fly looks pretty good. It does actually, and it works even better. Uh, while I'm fishing, like in Sirlux Stellar, where I fish mostly in my favorite lake, um, I use this fly to like fish the banks, like oh, close to your feet, and sometimes you get like an ambush <laughs> attack on it from just you have fish in the in the wheat and it will just come out and attack it. It's fantastic. So we built built up the head, and we'll just do some refinishes, like a couple of them, and we'll apply then. Uh, Apply the UV resin on the uh, head of the fly. Um, this fly is like, uh, it's not too heavy. It's like, uh, there's a little weight in the, in the ice, but uh, this is just perfect to fish shallow water as well. It's not too heavy. It's not, uh, you're not in the, in the bottom 
at all, but you get like a little bit under the uh, water film. And fishing on shallow water with this, searching for fish, and if you see fish on shallow water, this is absolutely, especially for brown trout, this is absolutely the fly to, to get it moving and attacking the fly. It's my experience for years and years and years. I'm using Solaris Bone Cure for the uh, head. It's an excellent material. I like that material a lot. And now we'll just sap it with our light. And uh, yeah, just want to say to you guys, thanks for supporting the channel. So thanks for watching. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. That's mandatory. And I will, I will see you guys in the next one.